Okay, today we're going to go over the UTV 801 windshield. It's a glass windshield with vents. Um, it got shipped to me from, I believe they're in Utah. Um, packaging was excellent. They used all closed cell foam, no damage. It was fine when it arrived. It was at a good price. Um, constructed really well. I've had it for a little while now. Somehow I forgot to do this video, but I did the write-up on WolverineForums.com. But I'm very happy with it. It's got dual vents that are really easy to use. You just push the vent and adjust the knob and you just put the vent where you want it. And then you have your front vents. Being here in Florida, these are a godsend, these vents. <laughs> because this is, it gets so hot here. I think I'm still going to put some fans inside on the ceiling just because it gets so hot, but without these, it would be death. You really feel the air coming in on those. Um, like I said, it's good build quality. Um, I'm gonna be doing the windshield wipers on it. I'm just getting the parts in for those now. Install was really, really simple. Um, there's two bolts along the roof line right here. There's a metal plate that runs along the top of the windshield. You stick the two bolts in that come with it, tighten those, and then you have one clamp here, one clamp lower, and you have those on both sides. Uh, install is very easy. Now, with this windshield on and the flaps open, you can still get out your um, inner dash piece, the one that covers the accessory wires. You can still get it out. It's a wiggle, but you can get it out. Um, what I started doing was... I started just loosening the lower bolt on the lower clamp very loose and then just loosening the upper clamp a little and then if I have them sitting over here let me see I thought I had them here I made some wooden dowels and then I covered the wooden dowels with heat shrink tubing so that what I do is after I loosen the top one a little, the bottom one a lot, I just push the windshield forward a little and slide this in to keep the windshield away. This is three quarter inch wooden dowel with heat shrink over it. And then you don't have to struggle at all. The, the dash panel comes right out, goes right back in. Um, I will say that when you go to put it back in and you've tightened the windshield down and aligning that center hole it was always hard for me just to align that hole without a windshield, but now that you can't stick your head right over it and see down the hole, it's more of a nightmare. So that kind of turned into a two-person job where I yank on the, the dash panel from out here this way while my girlfriend sticks the screw through the hole when it lines up. Um, but that was a problem even before the windshield. The windshield just makes it harder to look in the hole. But you can get it in. The only other thing I did to this windshield was I drilled a hole over here to put the antenna for the AM FM radio. But it's a great windshield. I recommend them. UTV 801. Um, that's it.